Hello! This is new. You guys, there were so many questions. Thanks to everyone who left a comment or a question on our post. You guys are the best. Without further ado, let's dive in. You don't say your names much in videos. What are they? So my name's Taryn. And my name's Nick. And then along the same lines, where did the names Tarni and Noiki come from? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Tarni is just an anagram for Taryn. Uh-huh. Um, and that came from spelling her name wrong in text messages enough times. And Noiki is a nickname my friends used to call me. So, yeah, and here we are. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been in a relationship? So we've been together six, almost seven years. Is there anything special behind the name Boy Meets Girl? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Earthbound. Yeah. <laughs> the, um, I think it's the Tucson theme in Earthbound yeah. is Boy Meets Girl. So this next question was one we got a lot, but what was our inspiration for making the channel? Oh yeah, that is a big question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you and I used to have date nights where we'd play games all the time. We would, we would play games like Stardew Valley and sort of the <laughs> easier games for you because you were very new to it. <laughs> yeah. And it was just a lot of fun. But the initial spark for the channel came about when you started joining me and my friends. When we would have like a, like a guy's night and suddenly you're playing Rust and Sea of Thieves with us. <laughs> a lot more like intense games and we both kind of got anxious about are these guys going to get annoyed like you know i didn't want to be that guy always bring his girlfriend to everything you didn't want to be that girl mm -mm, we didn't want to overdo it yeah but we started noticing like like when you wouldn't join in the discord call on like a thursday night everyone would be like where's taryn what's going on what happened to taryn? you guys didn't break up right like wh where are you where's taryn <laughs> and she's like oh no you know she's she's got other stuff tonight they're like oh that's too bad so we started noticing we're like huh it seems like a lot of people really like you in these games you, you seem to bring something really funny to the table <laughs> that people really enjoy i wonder if other people would feel this way as for made my girlfriend play that was really more of a one-off video that we just kind of <laughs> let's have you play dark souls that'd be fun and we'll kind of document it as we go and we kind of forgot about it there was a time where we almost unlisted it from the channel because we were kind of set on the date night series but that one started getting all kinds of love and attention and we we're like hey let's make some more of those too those are fun you did a way better job explaining that than i did does the pressure of making videos ever come between you or do you feel like it's made you come closer together it has definitely brought us closer together yeah i definitely think it's given us something fun that we can work on together which has been really cool yeah what are your tips on creating videos with your partner communication <laughs> that's probably the biggest one yeah. yeah make sure your relationship always comes first who asked out who for the first date that's easy <laughs> you asked me yeah i asked <laughs> i asked her mm -hmm. how did boy meet girl so yeah are you telling this one <laughs> <laughs> we met at our college orientation at the gym of all places and i <laughs> famously stole taryn's squat rack <laughs> and she got <laughs> pissed at me um and i i didn't know taryn was another freshman the way she was she looked like she'd been there a million times so i was not having it <laughs> i was super embarrassed and tried to avoid her the rest of the orientation but she kept like we kept running into each other well and i thought he was cute so i kept trying to talk to him <laughs> yeah i was like i remember seeing her being like oh my god that's that girl that i took the squat rack from and i was like hi <laughs> and I, like pretended like i didn't see her um <laughs> So that's how we met. And we, uh, the next day we had got to talking and exchanged phone numbers and then um, did a lot of texting before school officially started. And within the first month of being at school together, we were pretty much in a relationship. Yep, and it's been that way ever since. How was the first week of moving in together? Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, so if you guys have seen our unpacking video, <laughs> it was quite a bit like that. It was like the level in unpacking where the there was like no room for anything. <laughs> His like workout hoodie can just get folded up. We moved in together kind of like 
rushed, I guess, because lockdown happened. We weren't planning on moving in together so soon. Yeah, and it was kind of like, we either will not see each other or be stuck with each other. Uh -huh. We're like, let's see what it's like to be stuck with each other. <laughs> and then we ended up liking it. Do you guys have a pet? Yeah. Yes, we have a cat, mm -hmm. a black cat mm -hmm. named Black Jack. <laughs> Is the person who narrates the video the main creative force behind it? Ooh, that's an interesting one. Yes and no. Obviously the person who narrates the video, it's in their voice. We split the work on every video we make almost 50-50. I think the one exception to that might be Made My Girlfriend Play videos, just by the nature of kind of the concept behind them. Mm -hmm. You take more of the role of a guinea pig. Um, <laughs> but at the end of the day, I'm just telling your story and no one knows how you felt about X game better than you. Exactly. So you're just as important. We both split the editing 50-50. We leave each other editor's notes. We ask each other questions. Mm -hmm. We kind of cover each other's strengths and weaknesses because Taryn has really, really big ideas, and like grandiose plans. And I'm a little more realistic where I kind of pare things down and help sort of figure out what what's possible <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the day it's a two-person show 100 percent. how did you learn to edit so it's been a hobby for both of us since we were kids and it's just something we really have loved doing one of the reasons we made the channel was it was something we wanted to get better at yeah what editing software do you use so we use premiere pro yeah we use the whole ah. adobe suite mm -hmm. um most of our stuff is in Premiere Pro, and then uh, Taryn makes all the thumbnails in Photoshop, mm -hmm. and we do some quirky stuff in After Effects every now and again. <laughs> Ooh, this one's for you, Nick. So what game got you into playing games as a kid, and does it still hold up for you today? Ooh, okay. So probably my earliest memory of a game that had like a big impact on my life was Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. I remember playing the first Paper Mario at like a doctor's office or something, like in some kind of waiting room. Oh my gosh. And loving it. So when they announced that a sequel was coming out, I had seen posters all over my neighborhood about a yard sale. So I set up a lemonade stand. Oh. And I was out there like from the time the yard sale started until the time the yard sale closed. That is so cute. And I remember going to GameStop with my dad and there was some guy who was probably like in his like late teens working at the front. Uh -huh. He was so annoyed because I, I was charging like a quarter for lemonade. So he had to count out $60 or $50 worth of quarters <laughs> so I could buy my game but I played that game to death and, and I still play that game. Yeah. What's your favorite Pokemon? Mine's Ponyta. And mine's Farfetch'd. What's your favorite Animal Crossing villager? I like Rolled. And I like Maple. How and why do you use Animal Crossing characters in your videos? <laughs> so this is actually a pretty fun one. So before we made the Dark Souls video, we were actually making Animal Crossing puppet shows for fun. <laughs> <laughs> And so then when Nick was editing the Dark Souls video initially, he was struggling to find a way to illustrate the video. And so I had the idea that we could use some of the footage from our puppet shows. So then when we were doing that, we started having so much fun with it that we actually went back into the Animal Crossing and we're recording some Dark Souls-y like type clips. That's right. We were like, there's a campfire in Animal Crossing. We could use it as a bonfire. Exactly. <laughs> And then before we knew it, it became a staple of our videos. Do you have jobs outside of YouTube? Yes, we are both still working. So another popular question is, what's the process behind making a video? After a game gets played, we'll usually do some kind of a brainstorm and make like an outline of what a video might look like. And then the two of us will try to flesh out those ideas into like narrative paragraphs. Then they get recorded, they get put on the timeline, and while that's all going on, we'll have the footage from the gameplay that we're chopping up favorite mm -hmm. moments, things we talk about in the in the narration. And then we do a sort of rough assembly of those ideas. Mm -hmm. And once everything is roughly assembled, we do something we like to call tightening. <laughs> you know, if the video ever feels like it's slowing down, we uh, tighten it. 
once it's all tightened up and we're happy with it, we'll do the audio stuff like music, sound effects. And then that's kind of where the YouTube side of things comes in. So like a lot of times I'll have already started the thumbnail, but this is kind of when I'll wrap up the thumbnail. We'll get the video uploaded. We'll work on the subtitles. And once everything is good to go, we move on to the next project. Mm -hmm. How do you find the time to play games and edit videos? So this is really all about time management. We have to stay super organized. And we found it was really a mindset shift from finding the time to making the time. We only get so much time together. So that's really the time that gets spent playing the games. And when we're apart, that's usually when things get edited since we both don't have to be there. On a scale of one to 10, how much have you enjoyed the Made My Girlfriend Play series? I think that might be directed more towards you because <laughs> I would easily be a 10. <laughs> 10. Which video are you both most proud of? Oh, okay. Well, in terms of like our favorite video or videos on the channel, I think we both know what that is. Mm-hmm. Outer Wilds. Yeah, definitely. The, the two Outer Wilds videos are our two favorites. Definitely. But as for like game played for a video. Mm. I am super proud of the Dark Souls 3 DLCs. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a good one. <laughs> Like that was Especially because of how everyone saw your attempt on Medir where you barely used any Estus, but right? they didn't see the attempt like three attempts before where you got him to like two hits away and died and started crying. <laughs> <laughs> what are some of your favorite moments when creating videos? Okay, so one that I always find hilarious. So I was playing MGR and I was doing like the first boss and I was getting so full of adrenaline and I was just basically like yelling my head off. <laughs> and I had no idea because I couldn't hear anything but the fight and my own screaming. But your dad was like out in the living room and yeah. he looked at you and was like, is she okay? I remember, yeah. <laughs> What are your hobbies outside of playing games and making videos? So I like knitting and painting my nails. Yeah, and I like mountain biking and skiing. Since you both like to cook, what is your favorite thing to eat that the other person makes? Oh, Terrence homemade banana bread. Oh, I love his schnitzel. What is your favorite flavor of ice cream? Pistachio. Chocolate brownie thunder. What are your favorite colors? My favorite color is red. My favorite color is blue. How tall are both of you? So I am six feet tall. And I'm six foot five. What shows do you guys like? Our favorite comfort shows are The Office, Parks and Rec, and Malcolm in the Middle. Do you enjoy anime? We do. So we like My Hero, Demon Slayer, Jojo, and then I like Sailor Moon. Where do you find the music you use in your videos? Pretty much all the music we use comes from games we like. Mm -hmm. Which game OSTs does Taryn listen to outside of gaming? Oh, okay. So when I'm working out, I love MGR, Hotline Miami, Shadow of the Colossus. And then when I'm chilling out, I like Stardew, Starbound, and Outer Wilds. Has there ever been a game you guys played and didn't like that didn't make it into a video? As of now, no. Mm -mm. If we weren't liking a game, it wouldn't get far enough to mm -mm. be like- a candidate for video. To be candidate, exactly. How do you choose which video you're playing next? Usually I have a pretty good idea of what the next couple Made My Girlfriend play videos are gonna be. Those take Taryn longer to play, so she needs more time. And then we'll usually sort of plan the date nights around those. Occasionally a game will come into our peripheral that we just are really excited about and wanna give a try. And so we, we always kind of have a fluid schedule where we can move some things around. Yeah. In order to make the videos, we have to be having fun. So it's really important that we're playing what we wanna play. Do you ever use requests or video ideas from commenters? Oh, absolutely. There are already so many videos on the channel that were requests from you guys. Do you go back and play games you've covered on your channel? Yeah, we do. We'd actually like to revisit some of the games we visited on the channel at some point. We just haven't quite worked out how we want to go about that yet. So what are the top three games you'd recommend to gamer couples? So I think the first game that comes to mind is definitely It Takes Two. That's like... For sure. Yeah, then I would say maybe Stardew Valley. Oh, yeah. Because that's such a nice, low stakes... Lighthearted type of game. Yeah. And then I feel like, I know we just did this, but Portal 2. Yeah, top three. Top three. Okay, so what's your least favorite game you've covered? So our least favorite game we've covered. That's interesting. Yeah, I'm looking at the list and it's hard. I don't know. These videos are, they're like our babies. So mm. it's hard for us to, you're like asking us which child is the ugliest. You know, it's just hard to say. 
Can your girlfriend make a top five for best Soulsborne bosses list? <laughs> I mean, it sounds like we gotta dust off the girl meets boy channel. <laughs> oh! What are the plans for the future of the channel? We've got a lot of fun, cool ideas that we wanna try this year. We're interested in streaming or maybe a new series. Someone suggested like a, our fans made us play type of video, which sounds like a lot of fun. So now that the channel has grown, we really wanna to commit to more of these new ideas. So that's, that's one of our big goals for this year with the channel. Do you plan on doing the OG souls, demon souls, not the remake? <laughs> <laughs> well, she's laughing. I'll let that speak for itself. <laughs> Thank you all so much for everyone who asked a question or left a kind comment. We answered as many as we could and tried to pick questions that got asked a lot, but we're so sorry if we didn't get to yours. This is a new type of video for us, but it was a lot of fun, so hopefully this won't be your last chance to ask us a question. We'll see you next week. Ow!